Howdy, welcome back to the Addicted Motors YouTube channel. I'm back with my cheap, uh, long-term L322-08 supercharged. And today I'm gonna to try to sort something which has really bothered me with this particular truck. It's something that um, wasn't equipped originally that I think I can install fairly easy from the aftermarket. Unfortunately, the reason why I haven't been able to do it up until now is the particular piece uh, is extremely expensive from the factory or you can buy an aftermarket one that needs to be spliced in and it's just not a really good setup. So let's check so it out. So what I'm talking about is this. This truck obviously is like most L322 is equipped with a factory tow bar, but what you don't see and what's missing See that little bracket right there? Is the uh, the wiring harness and control for the tow bar. Uh, didn't have one, it's not hooked up. And from Land Rover, it's like five, 600 bucks for the old, you know, just pigtail harness in the uh, module. Pretty annoying. Uh, you can buy knockoff ones. I'm, I mean, I'm sure they're fine, but I was able to source a, a, a complete um, kit. So here's what I got. It is uh, this little module here. Uh, a length of wiring and obviously the uh, eight pin or six pin or whatever adapter piece um, as well. And, you know, I pulled it out of a truck, which was also pretty annoying. Um, you gotta, you, I'll, show, I'll show you in the video what you do to install it, but it's not as intuitive as you think if you, I, I stared at it for a long time um, just because it seemed like I would have to cut the wires to get these kind of fat connectors through luckily i didn't so that's a win so let's uh, let's take apart the rest of the uh what what's necessary here and uh get on with it all right so you don't you can't tell you know all the pieces all the connectors are already there there's just nothing installed and look at this look at all the sand in here that's oh man i should really i should probably suck that up before i go any further it's kind of it's like baked in there too. Um, yeah, I'm gonna ignore it, I'll do that later. Um, so yeah, I was just gonna make sure that's gonna fit in there. I don't think I, uh, I'm sure there's a screw. Oh yeah, look, it's right there. <laughs> it mounts right there. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in also. All right, cool, so that's all clipped in, secured. I'll pop that back in, but that's all the easy part. Uh, the next thing we wanna do is remove this piece here, which involves taking out uh, this mounting point, these two clips, that one, two, three other clips, and that just snaps out, and that will allow us to start routing the wire, which we're not gonna do yet. So we're gonna go in from the bottom, but we're gonna get that all prepped. All right, that's really all you need access-wise. Um, you just need to be able to begin routing the cable from the left to the right. Um, so that should give us enough space um, to slot that in there. So next comes the interesting part. We're gonna get on the ground here. And uh, we're gonna, I'll show you where this is gonna go in a second. Uh. All right, so see that little pop out? That's gonna come out and I'm going to slot everything up through there and to the inside. It all fit, at least it did on the way out. So. Hopefully the same when I uh, push it back in. Whew, all right, so that was pretty simple. I've got all the uh, all the harnesses through, so we're gonna get them through here and then uh, hook them up over there. All right, so that is all installed hooked up, uh, not bolted in or anything like that. So I'm gonna start the truck up, make sure there's no crazy warning lights on. I probably forgot to preface this video. Again, you know, you don't have trailer brakes, you don't have the uh, the Land Rover uh, spec controller. That means it won't adjust the air suspension or, uh, or even have power to the, the rear lights if you're towing a trailer. So, you know, it really makes that hitch just good enough for a bike rack and pretty useless. So, I don't know, I like to at least have the option. I don't, do a, I don't plan to do a whole lot of towing with the truck, but it, it has annoyed me for a while that it does not have that option. So let's uh, fire it up. Now, like I said, this is factory, so I'm not expecting any issues. Cool, all right, all my normal warnings, but nothing uh, nothing critical. All right, uh, chalked it up for a win. So let's, uh, let's get it all reinstalled and uh, get out of here. Do something else for the rest of the day. 
All right, so there she is, installed, good to go. I've got a fully functioning vehicle. You have to test it out, but I'm pretty stoked and break anything too bad. Didn't even get too dirty, so sometimes you get a DIY fix that's not too, too bad. So, yeah, that's gonna be it for this one. Appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully that was a little bit helpful if any of you were confused or hadn't seen a good visual on how to properly do that. Again, I saw a few, but they weren't really with the factory stuff. Um, so yeah, you can do it. You don't have to cut anything. Just rip one off the parts truck and you should be good to go. So thanks for watching. See you in the next one.